Hey everyone, welcome to Figure Fantasy. So we're here to have a build and gear guide for Ultraman Tiga. So most of you guys are not fans of this guy, but again, I my experience with him is very, very positive. And uh, I'll show you guys first the build that I made. So let's start off by looking at his skills first to understand how he does his thing so for his attack tiga multi chop attacks an enemy starts from the first enemy in the same line attack speed is fast definitely will need more speed for him to be viable because his basic attack would be the centerpiece of his kit okay so for upgrade effect to so level 2 boost the damage from basic attacks by 20% and at level 3 another 20% moving on to his ultimate so Zipperion Zip Zip beam initial energy is 40 attacks the current target and switches basic attack to compound fist for 5 seconds after the ultimate ends so upgrade effects so of level 2 granted crit chance up on ignited targets this one is a bit contested because people don't like to combo this they think that uh he has lesser value because he needs he needs other figures to ignite so that he can guarantee his crit this is actually going to be op if you don't do this a guaranteed crit is 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 crazy so it's like critting 100 percent if you you know just put it in his cut in his kit without even putting a a condition on it so this is actually good i have some suggestions down the line on which figures do you you know need to pair up with him oh going back so also adds uh boost compound fist damage by 35 percent basic attacks have a 30 percent 30 percent chance to trigger compound fist so compound fist is deals basic attack damage to the enemy three times so your basic attack just times three Okay, so that is why you need to make sure that your basic attack is built well. Next is his passive, which is Tiga Multi-Punch. Every five uh, times basic attack deals damage. It immediately deals moderate damage to the target and adjacent enemies and heals the attacker by 42%. This is pretty much very amazing because I've his thing power with only his passive even if without his lifesteal is pretty much insane so the basic attack power boosts the damage and healing take note of that level two is boost passive damage by 50 percent and level three number of basic attacks required to trigger goes down to four so it's a minus one from the five okay moving on to the last one which is his special timer flash boost dodge chance by 15 percent restores health after each successful dodge boost basic attack power by 25 percent within the first 15 seconds of the battle then reduce it to 10 and boost attack speed by 10 percent boost dodge as well by 20 percent at level three so that is his skills if you take a look at his um stats here the most uh, the, the the lowest stat would be health basically so if you want to you know have a good reservoir for your lifesteal um you should have at least good uh numbers for health but a is already good so definitely he's kind of good even though without additional health bonuses okay let's move on to his parts okay so for parts for the 2p set i would not recommend any other but a basic attack power enhancer which is a skill set this is actually the only thing that i would recommend i don't think others other would you know would fit the bill for him at this point so more or less you'll have to do with the two piece set for your four piece set also i recommend attack speed because he already has a built-in lifesteal set so to say so this one would be beneficial from for him but otherwise if you still want to put up a lifesteal set then you could replace the quick set with the lifesteal set but definitely not that needed off to his badge what i equipped him which is again the only set that i would recommend is the eternal nightmare badge because of the boost 
in attack speed by 10%. Basic attacks have a 21% chance to bounce off uh, bounce lighting off four times each time, dealing damage equal to 10% of attack. Okay, but the two um, exclusive um, badge or and uh, adornment we will have to discuss whether they are going to be beneficial for him. Let's start off with the badge first. So it's, it's, it's exclusive badge. So when using multi-punch, boost the power of the next ultimate by five. And the effect stacks up to five times and grants a shield 100% of attack. I am i don't think this is necessary. The, um, the Eternal Nightmare badge is actually pretty much sufficient because that one I need most because of the boost of attack speed. However, for... The adornment, if you wish to go all in on Ultraman, the adornment takes him further from what he's built right now. So, because when using a compound fifth deals an additional, take note of this, 50%, 57% of attack as damage to the target and its adjacent enemies. Additional damage bonus, which gives him more lifesteal and, you know, again, deals massive damage so those are the parts um again uh the recommended if you want to go all in so please get his uh exclusive adornment okay so going back i only have him at uh, i only have him at two star uh, to two diamonds i can't go any further uh but those are actually the parts and the badge that i think would really really help him or will make him shine as for the team composition let's uh, just uh, filter this up um first and foremost this guy is one of i think the must have when you have ultraman because he he has health restore he has he ignites all figure all figures so as you can see here, heals all, attack speed is increased as well, restored health, and also boost attack speed, his accuracy bonus, also ignites all enemies at the same time. So again, he's the best combo or next, next, uh, it's, he's the, what is happening to my tongue today? He's the best pairing for Ultraman if you want to take advantage of Ignite. The others, I think, would be Akechi Mitsuhide, but he's too... He's too specific to what you call this to in in building he, he's purely for ignite teams unlike uh zao Yu, you could splash him in any other team so both him and ultraman would be a good parry sanada is not necessary although if you don't have any other ignite in your lineup sanada would be good uh but i'm definitely recommending Zhao Yu as a mainstay partner for Ultraman just, uh, in case you want to to have that uh, that uh, what they call this trigger this one the guaranteed crit chance on ignited targets this is actually pretty much very good um, and this would be OP if you give it to him old, uh, outright. I'm sorry. Um, he, he would be so OP if he has a great guaranteed crit chance. So that is it for the team comp. And guys, my final thoughts on him. I don't think he is a, he is a bad figure or a bad collab. I, I don't think, I, I, I don't want to, I don't think he deserves to be called the worst collab ever. I don't think so. Um, I've heard I'd heard things from people and say that he's the worst, but I don't think he is. So again, I'd like to end this one. Uh, final thoughts uh, with um, a match. Just want to showcase him, guys, to you with uh, a fight. So let's do final battle. I save this one. Okay, so for my final battle, here it is. Here is most likely my team. And let's find out how he does and how much damage he deals. Okay. 
So this one is looking like is more looking like your regular ignite team already, except for the fact that you have Ayani there. You can take out Ayani, and this would be a full fire team. You could even replace uh, Tanada with Akechi if you want. Eventually, or you could even replace Ayane with Akechi. But again, you need three four frontline people here. Uh, that is why Galatea, I think, would really, really thrive with Ignite. If they did this properly, they would be a very good brand to have. So with Ultraman, it you know gives them more firepower, more DPS, and more reason to use. Um, the Ignite team. So as you can see here, crits all over the place. Let us do some analysis on how Sherman is going to demolish the competition. So uh, let's wait for the application of... Uh, even there, that's crit already. So very high damage. Over six figures for damage. And it's usually fast damage because of how he's built and uh, how quick his punches are. See, 500,000 for that damage for Ultraman. And it's usually critting. Another crit, another 500,000 damage. I, I, I really, guys, I don't really think that he is that bad. He just needs a little bit more boosted in terms of his companions. And I need to put him up to five diamonds probably in the next few months. If ever I get more... Uh, stickers from the most store that would be good so there withstanding all of that onslaught from that bunny and again he, he, he's the first to take down his you know his enemy so again a lot of damage coming from him and he helps out with this big guy in the middle 371,000. Again, a lot of damage coming from him. So this is the last wave. I think we're clearing this. So, so far... Uh, and also, I forgot to mention. Um, again, his lifesteal really doesn't go down that much. A little damage, then it goes back to full health. So, again, nothing to complain about him. Um, at this point, I would rate him as nearly there in terms of uh, in terms of what he brings, in terms of what he gives. He's not one of the, you know, one of the best units, but again, he's nearly there. Again, if you see him, if you see him needing ignite figures around him, I don't, you know, I don't blame you guys. But again, he's a perfect uh, vanguard for Galatea. For speaking for Galatea team, um, a lot of people don't like Galatea. But again, I go for the underdogs, and I think he is a good addition to Galatea. So we're nearing down to a few more seconds for the round. Hopefully, we can clear this up. Twenty-five seconds. So, still holding on. So, below 20 seconds for this one. I think we're going to clear this one. So, Ultraman still holding. Not even a scratch. Okay, guys. That is it. So, hopefully, I have uh, convinced you on investing on Ultraman. And thank you guys for staying this far. Take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden. And I'm out of here.